Do you ever wonder why trendy items like this look great on the hanger, but they're not quite right for you? Well, it's likely because you're not buying the right pieces for your body shape. If you have broader shoulders and more narrow hips, then you're likely to be an inverted triangle body shape. So in today's video, I'm going to give you seven of my top styling tips in order to best enhance this beautiful figure. And the last one is the most important, so make sure to stick around to find out the pieces you'll need to help build the wardrobe of your dreams. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. If you don't already know me, I'm Isabella, a certified image consultant and fashion enthusiast, and welcome here to my channel, Concept3, where I help you transform your wardrobe, your image, and your lifestyle. In today's video, we will be talking all about the inverted triangle body shape. This body type refers to a shape where the shoulders are broader than the hips. It's characterized by well-defined shoulders, a narrow waist, and hips that are narrower than the shoulder line. The overall silhouette resembles an inverted triangle with the shoulders being the widest part of the body. Now starting in no particular order, item one that you want to avoid is a high neckline. So here as an example, we have Victoria Beckham who is a petite inverted triangle body shape. And here she is wearing a mock neck which is a type of high neckline and you can see it's not the most flattering on her. She's drowning in the fabric a bit, being petite, and also it broadens her shoulders. Instead of that, you should always go for either an asymmetrical or a V neckline. And the asymmetrical look is going to break up the body and the shoulders, and the V neckline is going to elongate the silhouette and balance out your proportions. Now looking at Victoria Beckham wearing this asymmetrical dress, I am here for this like electric orange look. You can see it's a lot more flattering on her than the previous neckline. So after all this, do you still want to wear it? Well, if you want to style it properly, you should add a bit more volume to the bottom half and wear silhouettes that are going to elongate you and make you look elegant. So far, if you're enjoying this video and you're getting some really great tips, make sure to go ahead and click the like button so that it helps other people and it can reach them as well. And also, if you're curious and want to see more of my content, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at concept.3. I would love to connect with you and show you a little bit more about my personal life. All right, let's go ahead and get back into the video. And next, coming in second, we have tapered bottoms, which is one of my least favorite looks for the inverted triangle. So here as an example, we have fashion icon Naomi Campbell, but you can see that this tapered jean look is not working out so well for her. Having broader shoulder and narrower hips, it really doesn't balance out her proportions very well. Now instead of tapered bottoms, you should go for flared or straight leg if you want to have something a bit more fitted. Both of these options are great because they're going to add volume to the bottom half without making your shoulders look broader than they are. So here as an example of what to do, you can see that Naomi Campbell is wearing these sort of exaggerated wide leg pants and I'm here for this look and I think it really complements her inverted triangle body shape very well. So even after this, do you still wanna wear it? Well, one way to style tapered pants if you're an inverted triangle is to make sure that your top is fitted and nice at the waist and that you create some sort of volume around the hips with the type of top you have. This look can work for her because of the way she styled her outfit. So another item that is not super flattering that you wanna avoid are bold shoulder pads. And this is a very controversial look, I would say. So here as an example, we have Kate Middleton who is wearing a white and mint green blazer with very bold shoulder pads. As you can see here, her hips are quite narrow, so it's not the most flattering look based on being an inverted triangle. So instead of focusing on bold shoulder pads in blazers and dresses, you should try hip detailing and normal padding in your outfits. Both of these are going to add a bit more volume to the right parts of your body and Consequently, it's really going to balance out your silhouette. In the second picture instead, she has a kind of wide leg pant, which balances out a lot better with the blazer she's wearing, which has a light shoulder padding, but it's not too big. 
So at this point, if you still want to wear it, regardless of these guidelines, there's a couple things you can do to make it work for you. Number one, you can pair it with wide leg trousers, which is going to create a more balanced look like what we see on Emily Ratajkowski. So next, coming in at number four, we have the puffy sleeve top, which is popular among a lot of women, but for an inverted triangle, it might not be the perfect match. So consequently, the more voluminous and puffy the sleeve is, the less flattering the look will, will be for you. So here, looking at an example of Renee Zellweger, who is a petite inverted triangle, this red carpet look is not working for her because this puffy sleeve thing is not complementing her body shape. Here you can see it makes her hips look more narrow than they are and it really broadens her shoulders. Instead, some sleeves that you can go for are fitted sleeves and also bell sleeves. This is going to attract attention and really emphasize the bottom half of your body and it's going to balance out beautifully with your shoulders. So looking here at Renee Zellweger, you can see that this look is a lot better than the first one, even though I'm not a big fan of the wide neckline. So basically by putting the puff further down the arm, it's going to balance out with the shoulders and it's not going to throw off the balance of her silhouette. After these tips, if you still wanna wear this top and it's a style that you absolutely can't live without, I definitely recommend volume, volume, and volume. Any bottom piece that you put on, you wanna make sure it has a lot of interest, volume, texture, and detail to it because that's going to really balance out with the puffiness of the sleeves and help you balance out your silhouette. So next on to number five, this has to be one of the most obvious tips and this is avoiding really wide necklines. So looking at Victoria Beckham here with this wider neckline and this shapeless boxy dress, it's clearly unflattering on her and it's not quite the right neckline, especially for this outfit. So instead, you should go for more narrow necklines such as scoop necks and v-necks. These two options are going to be a lot more flattering because they are not going to visually extend your shoulder line and they are going to balance out better with your hips. So now looking at Victoria Beckham in this dress, you can see that these two styling choices are like night and day. So this is a way better look for her inverted triangle figure. So regardless of what I'm telling you about to wear it or not to wear it, if you really are a fan and you know you still have a lot of items, adding a bit of volume and layers to make the bottom half more interesting so it therefore balances out with the wider neckline. So now we've reached tip number six and we are so close to the end, so close to the one that I'm sure a lot of you are already making like now. And item number six are embellished tops. And this means tops that have a lot of embellishment going on around the upper part of the body. So once again here, looking at Queen Naomi Campbell, this look just does not work for her at all. In addition to being very boxy and unflattering for her figure, the added embellishments around her neck do not really complement this figure. Instead, if you're really dying to add some extra bling or interest to your top, I would go for waist embellishments or even hip embellishments. And both of these are going to draw your eye down to the waist and to the hips, and it's not going to throw off the balance of your proportions. So here we have Naomi Campbell again, and she is wearing a cropped blazer that has, yes, shoulder pads, but like I said before, if you style it with a bottom that's very voluminous, it definitely can work. And in addition, she has embellishments on the bottom half of the blazer, which makes this outfit work and it makes it a bit more harmonious being an inverted triangle body shape. So if you absolutely adore embellishments, you know, on your neck, shoulder, wherever, and you still wanna rock them, you know, you can, but you need to make sure to be able to style it in these ways. Number one, you should add interest to the bottom half either via patterns or volume. So here in this first picture, you can see that she has this sort of feather thing going on around her shoulders but the dress has a lot of different shapes and elements that really help you focus down there. And number two, you can also pick embellished tops that also extend the embellishment down. So here in this picture, you can see that she has all this glitz and glamour on the top half, but it also kind of cascades down to her hips 
creating a very balanced and elegant silhouette. So we finally reached the last and the most commonly made styling mistake for the inverted triangle body shape and that is wearing skinny straps or spaghetti straps. So once again with the example of Naomi Campbell, but this is a throwback, you can see that she's wearing a skinny strap dress which is not super flattering on her, also because it's very fitted and the patterns extend vertically, really emphasizing her shoulders. Instead of skinny straps, I would try to go for either thick straps or medium straps because this is going to cover more of the shoulder area and balance out your silhouette so that your top half is in proportion with your bottom half. So here, looking at a more recent picture of Naomi Campbell, you can see that this sort of sequin number, I love the look by the way, the sequin number has a thicker strap to it, so it's definitely balancing out her proportions a little bit better. So out of habit or out of just, you know, love for this design, if you absolutely still have to wear it, there's a couple of ways to style it where it can still work and look good on you. Number one is to add interest or volume to the bottom half, either through textures or also through prints. And number two, you can also find embellishments that extend all the way down, which are going to draw your eye to the bottom half of the dress and it's going to really help you balance out the silhouette. So after this plethora of information, what items will you be trying now and which items will you just never give up no matter what? Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And also, if you're new to this channel and if you wanna join this group that we have here, make sure to click the subscribe button and along with that, click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I make videos weekly on fashion, image, and transformation and I would love to have you here with us. This being said, thank you so much for watching and as always, stay safe, stay smart, and stay leveled up. I will see you in my next video. Bye.